Welcome back, friends, with more Bluey. This is Season 2. And I mentioned this before, but people have been telling me that Season 2 and 3 are actually better than Season 1. If that's true, that'll be very impressive. Again, switching to just three episodes a week to just pace it better for myself in terms of workload and general enjoyment. But thanks for tuning in. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon. We're up to four weeks ahead over there. Leave a like and let's get started. Yeah! <laughs> uh, why does this little jingle put a smile on my face? <laughs> oh, can we get the bill, please? Oh, can we get the bill? Louie, inside voice. <laughs> can we get the bill? Can we get the bill? Are you going to eat that chip? I think she's finished. Oh, no. Scab. Oh. Scab. Yeah. Hey, where's my chip? <laughs> Dad ate it. What? <gasps> what? Aw, bingo. I was still very hungry. Aw, very hungry. Can we make it up to you, bingo? Get her another order. Name your price. I know. Dance mode. Dance mode. The parents do not look up for this. Three dance modes, and then that's it. Okay. She's annoyed with how slow this is. Green dog. Oh my god! Just have to randomly start dancing in the middle of the street. Is that Wendy? Lucky's dad. <laughs> the next dance mode is going to be mine to choose one, okay? Not you. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Are you going to use your dance mode in here, Bingo? No, I want to save it. Ah, Let her name? choose when to do Next, it. Please. Bingo, can I please use dance mode on your dad? Oh. Well, it's just pretty please. No, not the please face. Mm, okay. Sweet. She's happy about letting her mom be happy, but... Look, if you could just stop dancing for a moment. <laughs> nope. If I could, Can't do it. <laughs> hey, twinkle toes! Hurry up! <laughs> that was. When are you going to use your last dance mode, Bingo? When she That's wants to. Fun. Let's um, go this way instead. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Nothing to see up there. Oh, look. Woo. Shake it. Cool. Oh. Playing on pipes. Dance mode. Oh, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Oh, no. Hey. Look, uh, you seem like you've cheered up, Bingo. Maybe we can forget about No, it. don't be like that. Oh. I'm going to buy your last dance mode. Wow. For... Whoa, $20 bucks. You can buy Dollar it. Bucks. That thing sounds good. Please, <laughs> Bingo. Oh, Bingo. Ready, please. Okay. All right. It's not what she wants. This is not good parenting. <laughs> it really isn't. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you push this. Yes. <laughs> Do you want it? Yeah, should we get it? Okay. Oh, bingo. Well, that all worked out, didn't it, kids? No, it did not. That was twenty dollar bucks. No. Do you not like your yes no button? No. But you said you wanted it. Very inside voice. <laughs> but she said she wanted it. But she said she wanted. Why is she upset? Is it because people keep taking things from you without asking? Yes. Yeah. I thought so. I asked. We all asked. And she said yes. Didn't you, Bingo? Yeah, but she's yes. four. Bingo, sometimes does your outside voice say yes when your inside voice really means no? That's a really good, good way of putting it. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, Bingo. Uh, Me too. Can you think of a way that we can make it up to you? Whoa, hang, hang on. on. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yes, the evil. We're back here. Dance mode. Oh boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this for my kid. <laughs> here we go. Ah. <laughs> Bingo being sad really gets to me. Poor baby. The way Chili puts it is really smart about Bingo's outside voice saying yes while her inside voice is saying no. Like, Bingo is naturally somebody who cares a lot about other people. If they're happy, it makes her happy too. But that can make her give up things that she wants for herself. Like, when Chili asked for that second dance mode, we saw how sad Bingo was when she said yes. But her mom got so excited and said thank you, thank you, thank you, and the biggest grin popped up on Bingo's face. And yeah, the thing that started it all was Bandit eating her last chippy. She was just under the table, just wait like 10 seconds to be able to ask her. And then Chili answering for her. 
But this is why they're the best parents, because they made a mistake, they apologized, and even gave her a way for them to make it up to her. Dance mode itself was a lot of fun. Chili just dancing across the sidewalk. Said hi to Wendy while Lucky's dad cheered her on. That was very fun. Uh, Bandit in the store trying to renew a membership for something, and having to dance all of a sudden. Definitely held up the line a bit. The dog behind him seemed rather annoyed, but it was pretty glorious. What kind of membership needs two forms of ID, though? But yeah, Bandit offered Bingo $20 bucks to get out of the last dance mode. It's pretty hilarious. Chili said it wasn't good parenting, and it probably isn't, but the thought was to save them both from something very embarrassing. Uh, but Bingo was so sad after she didn't get any of what she wanted. Even the $20 bucks wasn't going towards something that she wanted either. Uh, glad they were able to talk it all out though, and she got the dance mode, all of them. The mischievous grin on her face when she realizes what she's gonna do is just priceless. Whole family's got moves though. Uh, Bingo pressing the yes, yes, yes button was really great. But in the future, the family can be a little bit more thoughtful of what Bingo really wants. At the same time, they can also teach Bingo how to better advocate for herself. The yes, no button seems like it actually helped her in this episode. Irony is that she didn't even want it in the first place. But also, that thing had to cost like two dollar bucks tops, right? Like, what happened to the rest of it? Uh, also really enjoyed Bluey not knowing how to control her own volume. It's a very kid thing to do. Indoor voice, please use your inside voice. Uh, but yeah, rough on the parent, fun to watch in the context of a TV show. But yeah, great start to season two. This was a lot of fun. I can't imagine what the show is like to watch as a parent with your kids, though, because you just know kids are going to want to play dance mode. So if I see parents dancing at weird moments in public, I'm going to assume it's because their kids watched this episode of Bluey. All right, on to episode two. <laughs> She's doing a little hop skip. <laughs> is falling apart. Oh no. Well, nothing lasts forever. Mingo's watermelon is redder than mine. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit. Well, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. They don't know what that means. Check it out. New pizza oven. Pretty nice. sweet, eh? I just got it from Hammer Barn. <laughs> Ooh. Now you want one. Going to Hammer Barn. Yeah, Hammer <laughs> Barn. Hammer Barn. The looking great. It's going to Hammer Barn. <laughs> grass is always greener. Husband. Yes, yes. Do some yard work. <laughs> hey, Gerald doesn't have a shovel. Mom, Bingo's husband is better than mine. Uh, Try and be happy with what you've got, okay? I can't be happy with what I've got when what she has is better. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's just appeasing the child. Berry lights. And more very okay. Just the same. They're so concerned with These having everything be equal. Bingo, will you swap some of my plants for your pizza flipper? <laughs> no thanks. Flip. What about for my husband? No for your husband. Flip. That pizza flipper is all I want in the whole world. She's playing with it right now. Okay. Bingo. Hey, go, go, go. Oh no. <gasps> pizza stone. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. She didn't even have a turn with it. Oh, it's gonna break. Something's gonna break. Whoa! <laughs> it's probably another bluey. Probably. This is what happens when you're unhappy with what you've got. Someone's husband eventually gets it. What? I just wanted a dining room table. Oh man. You can't get new stuff all the time. Stuff costs money. Wow. It's everything we want. <laughs> it's everything we want. Yes. They are? She's trying to teach a lesson here. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this hamburger. Poor Hecuba. You always loved hamburger. <laughs> Would you like to try some beetroot? Oh, thank you, Her doll. dead husband. Isn't it? <gasps> We're at the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Relax. She's taking my husband. <laughs> Scan. Uh, I might meet you in the car. Don't. Really? I wasn't ready to take them down. I guess nothing lasts forever. Aww, nice. Hey, would you kids like to try my beeper gun? Yes, please. That's really, really sweet. Are you ready? That's a pizza. Pizza you've ever tasted? Yeah. 
We'll see about that. <laughs> she has no trust in this. Bit budgy. No, it's just got character. Aw. Okay, yours is bigger than mine. Yes, yeah, and there we go. Hawaiian. This is amazing. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> High five. <laughs> yes, our purchases are justified. Lulu was complaining through the whole episode about her thing wasn't as good as Bingo's thing, or she didn't have the thing that Bingo did. And it's not an unreasonable feeling to have, she just doesn't know how to regulate her emotions regarding that. She takes it too far by fighting with Bingo over it, but... Yeah, I mean, Bandit saw that Lucky's dad had the pizza oven and he immediately had to go get one as well. So, yeah, loved Chili's line about Lucky's lawn looking great. Grass is always greener, nice little, little nod there. But yeah, it seems like the family is pretty well off if they can just afford to buy a $500 pizza oven on a whim. Or maybe in some other countries they just have more disposable income in the, than in the US. Uh, I did assume that they have quite a bit of money in the first place, because look at their house! But maybe housing is cheaper in Australia, since I assume it's not as commodified as it is in the US. Um, but it's huge, it's huge. But yeah, Bluey seeing someone have something she didn't and want to get isn't inherently bad. And yeah, she's just not very good at regulating those emotions, because she's six, it's fine. Uh, we've definitely seen her grow throughout the series, though. Uh, she very happily took turns with Bingo with the scanner at the end, and she was okay with Bingo's slice of pizza being bigger. So yeah, it's a nice episode to show her growth. Uh, the path to getting there was a bit rough, though. Uh, haha, <laughs> rough, good dog jokes. But yeah, Bingo was so sad giving up her pizza flipper. It's still something she needs to be taught, uh, but she was actually able to stand up with her for herself uh, with the pizza stone. It led to a bit of a fight and a completely ridiculous and hilarious line after Bingo lost her husband. Chili said, this is what happens when you aren't happy with what you've got. Somebody's husband eventually gets it. What does that even mean? It sounds like the plot of a soap opera. And yet Chili was then trying so hard to teach a good lesson about how not everything is just free. You can't have everything you want. And then, yeah, they found the paper that was all free. Being a good parent seems so hard and exhausting sometimes because not all your rules always apply and uh, it's hard to teach a lesson. <laughs> yeah, this episode was really good at showing parents helping their kids learn and grow while simultaneously learning from them and gaining new perspectives because of it. And yet Shelly was upset at first that their home was getting old and rickety, not really buying into Bandit's uh, explanation that uh, everything falls apart and that their house has character. But eventually she passes that same line to the kids when they have to put their houses away at the checkout. And she also tells Bandit that his pizza has character when it comes out looking a bit bodgy. I think bodgy is a word, apparently. Uh, glad the pizza tasted so good, though, because Chili was doubtful the entire episode uh, that it would taste any better. But the Hawaiian pizza is really, really good. And the little high five that Bandit and Lucky's dad shared was hilarious. It's like, yes, purchase justified. Uh, smaller things this episode though, we had a bit of interesting continuity, because in a previous episode with Dad teasing the kids, he called them Sharolander and Dennis. Uh, this time they're playing and Bluey's called Rhonda and Bingo's called Sharolander. Seems like they grew to appreciate that name, it's a very silly name. And yeah, we saw Winton's dad in this episode for a few seconds, but also in the ending. And during the episode he was walking with Winton, and Winton was looking at him with like so much love and adoration. It was interesting, and I'm not sure if it's just a throwaway detail or if it's something that they'll want to touch upon later, though I don't know what it could possibly mean beyond just being a very cute moment. But yeah, so far I think the season started out stronger than the previous one actually. So many cute moments and good lessons. But yeah, let's wrap up today with episode 3. MOM! Dad! Cellophane! Wrapping paper because Chloe's birthday party is a chutney chip party. Chloe, I'm sorry, honey, but you're not invited to Aww. Chloe's party. Only Bluey is. Oh, I mean, it's because Chloe's turning seven and she's only inviting seven people. Oh, Bandit, so weird. Stay here with dad, okay, honey? Oh, bingo, feeling left out. Why are these episodes so sad? Why is it always me that misses out? Oh. Sticky tape heavy. Sticky tape heavy? <laughs> Feather wand! She always finds a way to cheer herself up. Yeah, you want cereal. Okay. Cereal heavy! Oh! <laughs> What's going on? Aww. Heavy cereal! Heavy! Oh! Heavy! What 
<laughs> Jumps into the tub. She heard that. Oh, she heard it. That's weird. Mom, do I definitely have to clean my teeth? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> They're so committed to the bit. You used to be able to lift spoons. <laughs> you used to be able to lift spoons. Oh my god. Eat your floor cereal. Okay. Floor cereal. Oh my god. She's trying to stop us from getting to Chloe's party. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh oh. That was easy. Heavy. Me. Heavy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, lucky oh lucky. You have to stop bingo. Oh yeah, right oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> He's in the Rudo running. Hat heavy. Oh, his butt. Bingo heavy Chloe's present. Oh no. Oh no. That's it. You win, Bingo. Hooray! Unheavy, unheavy. Off you go. You don't mind missing out on the party? No. I made my own fun. Yeah, you sure do. Did. Okay. Unheavy lucky dad's hat. I have to? Aw. I just don't want to miss out on playing Feather Wand either. <sighs> you can play later. When you get back, we can refresh the hatch. Ooh, okay. Uh oh. Go, what are they? Oh. Her face is still all full of Bye. toothpaste. So ominous. Uh, what did you <laughs> the bluey? Oh boy. Just go to the toilet, boss. Oh, he really needs to go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the toilet. Come on. You're gonna have to do a bush wee. Hope Wendy doesn't see. What are you doing? Uh, Wendy. Yep, yep, yep. There's Wendy. <laughs> Man, these first three episodes of season two have just had so much sad bingo, my heart can't handle it. She's definitely one of my favorite characters, and she has so many little cute moments. Cellophane! And Bluey was just going ahead to Chloe's birthday party and Bingo wasn't invited. I'm not sure we've seen Bingo and Chloe play together, and it makes sense that sometimes you want to invite kids your age and not their younger siblings if you're not as close with them. But yeah, Bingo felt left out. But I love how resilient she is. She comes up with a game almost immediately and just plays around with everybody. And they assume she's trying to stop them from leaving, but she's just finding ways to entertain herself, actually. And it's so fun that Bluey is afraid she'll miss out on Feather Wand and doesn't want to go to the party. But yeah, the heavy stuff was a lot of fun. Uh, Bandit takes a second to understand the game and then immediately goes along with it. Everybody's just always so willing to play along. And I feel like I missed out on imaginative play when I was younger. Definitely wish I had siblings. And oh my god, Bingo's freaking evil laugh at the top of the stairs was freaking iconic. And yeah, the last heavy with the toilet seat was ridiculous. Wendy must think she has the weirdest neighbors. Bingo's resilience throughout this episode was so nice to see, though. It's somehow so fulfilling for me to watch these kids learn and grow throughout the series. I can't ma imagine what it's like with your own actual child. Like, parents must cry so many happy tears, and sad and frustrated ones as well. That sleep deprivation the first couple of years must be really, really hard. Uh, but yeah, people who were saying this show gets better with season two might be onto something. I'm enjoying these first three episodes a ton. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. We are four weeks ahead over there as well. Leave a like and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.